Okay, uh, loading one for you know, who was watching earlier or is just jumping in now or later. Uh, yeah, Hillian Lear with, uh, well, a makeup stream because Singularity ended short, a lot shorter than I actually thought, and then the, <laughs> the other 20 minutes of that recording were spent on speculation and TV tropes. So, uh, yeah, to fill in the two hours, uh, we're going to finish up with about an hour of Slime Rancher. Okay. okay, here we go. Create logos out of pink slimes, delete anything. Yeah, that, that would be a good way to... Uh, <clears throat> to get... to make it easier to get... Uh, Plores from be from slimes that only eat meat and such, because yeah, it's easier to get fruits and you know, vegetables than it is to get meats. Let's, see, let's feed these guys. Oh, they have a bunch of plorts in there. Okay, not bad. Then we can't feed them. We do not want to feed them plorts of any sorts. Okay. Ow. Okay. Now we're just adding this in as extra because... Yeah, those onions aren't going to feed all of them. Okay. Uh, how are... Oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's the speaker in there that's making that noise. There. <laughs> um. It just means that I have to stab back a bit. Yeah, we, we heal up pretty quickly because we're already back at full health. Now let's see, both of these are down in price, so we're just going to store them. Maybe. Oh, and I see we have another Elder. Off you go. And that means that... Oh, another... Okay, another for retirement, but that means that we are short on a rooster. There we go. Uh, not to your knowledge. Now, let's see. There's a normal hen hen in there still? Okay. <laughs> Feeding you to the hunter. And let's see. Four crystal slimes and one puddle slime. And only two minutes. We're not making that. It's not like these are required. Hmm. Anyways, let's have a look. There are still some lagos around that we need to deal with. And we have an, a key to open up this place. Let's see. The honey slime we've dealt with. And we haven't gone in this area yet, I think, because it's a pretty big jump to get over there. Hmm. So... I think we went back through this teleporter, so we might, we might be able to just get there more, a lot more safely this way. 
But for now, I'm thinking we're going to explore this big area here. And if there are loggers still, we haven't found them or fed them yet, because they would show up on the map if we had fed them something. Which I which I guess means that we'll just have to carry around around one of any everything. Hmm. In the meantime, we we need about fifteen thousand. No, I th yeah I think fifteen thousand to open up the extra areas like uh, the the lab here, and then there's five thousand for the docks. Uh, let's see. What does it stand for them? Uh, yeah, seven k is seven thousand, and yeah, in in the metric system k before anything it does stand for kilo, which well, a kilo is a thousand. Okay. Such summon, such common things. It often you just you just overlook because it's so common that you sort of assume you know what it does, but you don't actually do. And yes, I am just gathering up pink slimes, and they just keep feeding me pink slimes. I'm going to stick 40 of these guys in one corral and just see what happens. Okay. okay, some more carrots. Most likely, yes. We might actually need to uh, take a look at this once we're done exploring with everything. <laughs> okay. It's the internet and rule 34 and all. Oh, hello there. Lucky slime. I... Oh, where did he go? Okay, that... I'm pretty sure that one is uh, similar to the golden slime. But we got its... We cut it here, so let's see. That's the Quicksilver Lucky Slime. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Diet meat, non favorite. The Lucky Slimes are a strange variant of tabby slimes that seem to have a fascination with shiny objects, particularly new box coins. A Lucky Slime gobbles up any coin it finds, giving it a distinct jingling sound as they move around. However, coins don't make for a balanced diet, and a Lucky Slime will still greedily devour meat of any kind, in so doing its body bursts with a shower of new bucks, having little room left in its slimy tummy. This burst often sends the lucky slime flying into the air. Upon detecting a rancher, uh, the lucky slime will soon make a hasty retreat. No known rancher has ever been skillful enough, or perhaps lucky enough, to capture one of these slippery slimes. Okay. So yeah, I, I was right to just... it. It's, it's a rare spawn that you can't capture. Yeah, lucky slimes pose the same risk to ranchers as other rare slimes, mainly accidents in their pursuit that can lead to a rancher's demise. The promise of a small fortune when encountering a lucky slime has led more than a few ranchers headfirst into the slime sea. 
This occurrence has led to some of the most more superstitious ranchers to see the lucky slime as a bad omen, or perhaps as the universe testing their greed. These ranchers will ignore the lucky slimes altogether, even purposefully shooing them away. Well, un until you hear those new bugs jingling, and then maybe just one shot couldn't hurt. <laughs> Let's see. A lucky slime isn't known to produce plorts of any kind. Leading slime scientists uh, believe this is to be the result of the lucky slime not being a true slime variant. Rather, lucky slimes are believed to be just an abnormal tabby slime, one whose color has faded as a result of ingesting too many coins. It is perhaps this very change that also led to ceasing plort production. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm guessing a lot of early players probably chased those things all over and did indeed <laughs> run off a freaking cliff doing so. Yeah, we, we checked that before the first stream, and this, this game is made in uh, California, but with a very strong French theme. And there's a teddy with a poker foot. Okay, I think it was this way. Let's see. Uh, the... On Steam, the developer and publisher are the same, so yes, I think it is indie developed and indie released. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe you just missed it there, but that what if the chickens there rolled off the hill <laughs> right in front of us? Nope. It, it's sort of like this chick here. It just fell off the. It just fell off the, you know, off the edge and made a somersault in the air. Uh. Let's see. I was half expecting this place to be covered in snow. This is something completely different. Wait. Back in there, you? Is this some sort of... slime temple? Yeah, we have a pink one, and we have this thing with a pink plort in it. I... And this looks like a honey slime. That's a phosphor. That's a rock slime. Okay. So, oh, and there, another freaking door. So, to open this up, we need to fill in each and every one of these with a plort of the correct kind. Okay, and I can hear slime somewhere. I can hear their voices. What? The typical human male eyes typically do go towards there because yeah, m most people think that is because uh, yeah, a lot of people think because of men pervert, of course, but also because it's just instinctually ingrained because the female chest is supposed to be a sign of fertility. And as much as we like to think that we are evolved past that stuff, 
Uh, we still have a freaking monkey brain in the back here that goes, ooh, shiny. Or, oh, booby. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ancient ruins. Okay. Okay, let's check. We need... Four, six plorts, of which we need honey, tabby, phosphor, boom, rock, and this one here. I'm not sure. Oh, that must be a rat slime. Yeah, because green. Okay, I typically don't pay too much attention to people's clothes because, uh, yeah, it, it most it is typically just superficial. But yeah, I would compliment people on stuff if uh, if they were wearing something like uh, of similar interest, like a, a Mario shirt or something. It's. to dump these guys out here because we can grab a few of the plots that we need right here. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much everywhere. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Boom. Let's see. Nope, oh, I picked up some of these. I do want... Not, not you. Go fly. I want... Oh, we, we got the puddle slime. Okay, there's... You're going nuclear. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have boom. We have phosphor. Then we're going to need honey, radiation, rock, and honey. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting a sound effect. Uh, phosphor. <laughs> yeah. Not a, a slime chant. Okay. We need honey, we need radiation, and uh, rock. Oh, and we have tar somewhere. We have tar there, so we are actually. There might be honey slimes here. Now, this is where they spawn, and that one's unhappy. Still, though, that's there's there's one more key to be found here. So let's look for that. And here's oh, that's that's the yarn ball. We're taking this with now. There's a teleporter over there. 
I'm I'm guessing this thing will come along with us if we go through it on through a teleporter. Good. Okay. Just right in the port. Nope, nope, tar. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, you're at and stone. Okay. Nope. More of these. Okay, now we get out. Ow, ow. I, I think even the vacuum is scared because it's much like it's sucking even harder. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. We are here. There's some more over there. I'm guessing... Yeah, that's that log we came through. So if we can get on top of that and then on top of all of this... We should be able to get into a new area. Just a test here. Nope, we can't just dump it in there. Or shoot it through. Okay. How far can I cheese myself up on these things? A good amount. And yeah, there is the passageway. We can't get any higher. Or we can. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 almost fell into the slime sea there. Okay. Now, whilst I'm here, since I still already have one of those, and we might as well come here, not you, you. Oh, and a new power core upgrade. Oops. And four puzzle slimes for us. And a, oh, another tank boost. Even more carrying stuff. Uh, let's see. Any more boom ports? Yes, more boom ports. Okay, I'm just grabbing these along since we're still we're here anyways, even though their price isn't too high actually. Okay. Uh, we can just stuff those in the, in the storage. And, oh, come on. It doesn't even come along. So we have to bring those things back the long way. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. Thor West. Best part of the range. Uh... You'll hear all those cars. You, know, you hear all those cars and people. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> okay, simple. Two tabby, one crystal. Uh, we don't need two of these. So first, let's just harvest all of this. That the best part of the ranch is that there isn't you know, all those people around you know, to uh, make noise and such. Okay. Let's see. How is the boom port plant price? 22. So this is going in storage. Okay. Cleared out. Demolished plot. Then instead we put in a pond. And um, Okay. We found our new retirement spots.
Yeah, four puzzle slams. They don't eat anything. They just... Oh, you, you bounced out. Okay. No, I think it said that puzzle slimes can go in up, up to four. We'll just have to double check in a second. But yeah, the elders can join in. Let's see. Slimes. Puddle slime. A bit of maintenance. First. If they are in close proximity to more than three other slimes. So three plus one makes four. So yeah, I... Uh, probably all uh, uh, all types of slime. So ba if another slime wanders in here, they'll get shy and stop producing plorts. I'm thinking. And these guys are already through their foods. It, and they threw... Oh no, we didn't suck up that one earlier. Okay. It's the quick harvest. There's probably enough room in there for um, one or two more of them. And yeah, we're going to need to empty that out again. stick a lot of stuff in these. Yeah, having one of these basically covers you for pro pr probably anything you could really ask for, I'm guessing. Oh, hello, there's another old hen hen. Okay, he's not interested in... Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see what's happening. Besides the hunter slime booping us. The chickens here are still within reach of their roostro. So, uh... Yeah, they're getting in... They're getting impregnated... A coral over. Let's see. Uh, mint mangoes. I forget whose favorite these were. I think it was the... I think the honey slimes like these the most. So let's go feed them. And yeah, we can get our radiation ones as well at here. And they are just utterly devouring everything here. Oh no, it was the, the potatoes that they liked. Let's have a quick look. Resources... Mint Mango. The Honey Slimes, okay. Oh yeah, I have the Honey Slimes on the other side. Okay, let's just gather up a bunch. Not of that. We can keep one for the door. But the rest is going in the store. Okay, get out of the way, chubby. You can eat later. I just want the plorts. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I should try to lessen a bit with this and to stick them in a coral. But uh, yeah, this works for now. I could probably stick in another species, but oh well. Uh, we still have half an hour on that. Let's see. Uh, power, 
yes. Tank, yes. And might as well go for the heart as well. Now, how are we on this? Low and medium. Oh well. Okay, that, that puts us almost back to where we were earlier. And here we have a bunch of happy kitties. Now let's see, we have the slime ports. We, we sold all of the rats ports. We need a rock one still. But we can probably find those in the wilds. I could probably throw in a few more over here. Oh, hello there. You haven't gone Blago yet. Now let's fix that. There we go. It seems we don't have enough of them to keep this thing cleaned out because there was a, an old mango there. So yeah, we can fit in more of them here. Yeah, the ones that uh, turn to dust when you try to suck them up. <laughs> yeah, just bring it along for it as a stack as they play. Yeah, you, you just can't stay mad at these, huh? Okay, we have the honey, we have tabby, which we already put in. I might as well grab all of this up and throw it in somewhere. Let's see. The heartbeat is the rock slime's favorite. But we don't have any rock slime, so it's going in with these guys. Okay. Uh, how are we on tabby plorts? Yeah, 14 at these in the mounts. Uh, you could probably play the stock market a bit by denying a certain... Yeah, by not uh, ending in a certain type for a long period of time. So that the price would raise. But we're just producing in, su in such a quantity that we... We really can just get away with just <laughs> tanking every price. Oh, 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 uh, no crap, I don't have foods. That's a gold slime. Uh, food, food, somewhere, somewhere. Uh, another's lucky. Okay. Uh, uh, did it ban? Nope. Oh, we want that. Oh, oh, we we still got one plort of it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, gold slimes. Let us have a look. The, the gold slime. Get rich or die sliming. Let's see. Slimology. The most elusive and sought after of all slime species is easily the gold slime. Very little is known about these slippery creatures as they have proven imp uh, impossible to capture. Gold slimes are quick as supplies and will immediately begin to flee ranchers on sight. If a rancher is to profit from an encounter with a gold slime, they need to think quick. Gold slimes reduce no direct risks to a, a rancher, but their appearance often induces panic and leads to sometimes fatal mistakes. Further, the only way to go obtain gold plorts is to strike a gold slime with any spare resources in your back. Doing so can produce a gold plot, though it also leaves a trail of additional resources in the area, leading to unintended largos or worse. Gold plorts have little practical use and are the most valuable of all plorts simply because they are shiny and rare. Back on Earth, the elite love to adorn themselves in jewelry made of gold plorts, far exceeding the value of any terrestrial press metal. For this reason, a rancher should never pass up the chance to get a gold plot or two from a chance encounter with a gold slime. 
Yeah, that would have we would have gotten a lot more out of that probably if we'd kept one of our tubes full of fruit or something. But still, we have one. Probably not. Um. Yeah, nope, they don't eat it. Typically, if you shoot a, a plort at a slime, it will instantly eat it. Yeah, it's a chickadee. <laughs> okay. Now we... Again, we got one out of that. Where the little bugger went to, I have no idea. But yeah, they, they just vanish after a certain amount of time. Uh, now, where were we? We need... We need a rad plort still. And we might as well hand in the gold one. Let's see. Okay. We have the honey. We did the tabby. Boom. We we need rock still. Rock, rats, and Let's just grab one and head out, because if I'm going to hand these in, I'm going to accidentally hand in all of them again. Let's see. Um, I think that is one of this other... I, th I think that is the, uh, the Brady Ranchers place, so there's no need to go there. Hmm. Okay. Where did that one connect to? Let's have a quick look. I think it was one of the side areas where the teleporters are. Actually, we can just run in and... Yes, this, this is the brats. Okay. This one is still closed off. This probably leads to the, the laboratory. Or another teleporter that we haven't found. Okay, not exactly the one I was looking for, but it's still somewhat close. I have still no no idea at all how to get those uh, treasure orbs open. Ow, ow, ow. Actually, we need you. We need a rock floor. It's You there. There we go. Thank you. Get out. Okay, we should have all of the plorts needed to unseal that place. And then we'll see what's behind the door. And yeah, because there was one of the... Uh, one of the statues was over rock slime. Oh, angry once again. And yeah, not really a shortcut, but we got what we needed anyways. Let's see. Where does this one connect to? Or it... I think that's probably going to send us straight back next to the home because... It it, yeah, it shows the house on it. So uh, let's not walk into there. <laughs> yeah, only at night there because it's phosphorus lines there. Kitty. 
They're dopey little things. And again, they aren't that little. Okay, which of <laughs> all three of you at once? Come on. Uh. All right then. Honey? Radiation. And rock. That should be the last one. Okay. Okay, that was cute. Into the past. Ancient ruins. All that is lost is eventually found and lost once more. Okay. Oh. Welcoming committee. Oh, what? Okay. Let's have a check here. World. Ancient ruins. Hidden behind a vast mountain range, the ancient ruins stand as one of the few known unnatural structures on the far, far range. Their origin remain a mystery, as do the, uh, the strange occurrences that happen within. Home to quantum slimes that seem to express many other possible realities of their being, and phase lemon trees that do not remain in one time or place for very long. The ancient ruins defy logic and expectation. And one thing is certain in the ancient ruins. Within its deepest chambers, lies its greatest secrets. Okay, a new type of slime and a food for it. So, oh, and there they are. A slime that really shows its potential. Let's see. Favorite face for lemons, of course. Quantum slimes appear to have resulted from some sort of event that took place in the ancient ruins long ago. At all times, the quantum slime is capable of emitting other possible realities of their being. Called ghosts, these other realities can come true, with the sli quantum slime aligning with the reality of the ghost, effectively teleporting. Okay. Quantum slimes can be one of the most difficult slimes to manage given their unique abilities. A rancher needs to learn to detect when quantum slimes are primed to take over the reality of a ghost and act quickly, such as feeding them or just splashing them with some fresh water as a temporary measure. Because, yeah, these things are going to teleport out of their corals. Or corals. Quantum plorts are believed by many to hold the secret to infinite resources. Given the quantum slime's ability to change reality, it's theorized that unlocking the potential of quantum plorts could allow for a technology that converges the realities of other entities into our reality. And, well, basically we're talking about cloning stuff. Infinite energy, chickens, whatever. Probably no harm from side effects to this at all. Yeah, I very much doubt that, seeing as, uh, well, mysterious ancient ruins, quantum shenaniganery. This place is going to be one big puzzle, isn't it? Yeah, as long as there aren't mist level or something. Echoes, a mode of light, or perhaps memory? Within the crumbling walls of the ancient ruins, small traces of energy can be found, never staying in one place for very long. Called echoes, they are believed to be a phenomenon resulting from some sort of some kind of ancient event. Since they are harmless, echoes are often collected by ranchers as good luck charms or used as decorations. Echoes appear regularly in the nooks and crannies of the ancient ruins, as well as from extractors. Okay, where are extractors? Echoes can be used as decoration, simply back them up. Okay. I get the feeling those are probably going to be used in puzzles or something, as a fuel, maybe? We'll want to find more, anyways. And we have a map. Also, we have this. What are you going to do? That closes that. 
is. Oh, and opens a passage underneath. And okay, Hobbs was here as well. Hmm. And wait. Oh, I see what it, this is. One of those phased lemon trees. It's phased as well. Okay. Map. Okay. A teleporter at the end, as usual. Now let's see. Hmm? The uh, recording seems to be fine. We are at 45 minutes at the moment, and hello, Potter Slime. Oh, red. Oh, you go by. So they are of different colors. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to drop these for a bit. Mm, gold echo. Now, I think there might be something up with these echoes. We'll just have to figure out if that is the case. And if so, what they are needed for then. Oh, another one of Hobbs' notes. More of you. Let's see. These strange glass doors are a good reminder that you can't always have both. Hit that switch over there all you like and both doors will never be open. Sometimes you gotta choose one path or another and there's no way around it. But you know what? Either path you choose is going to make you hurt some for one of walking the other. Life is filled with doors like these. Yeah, y you can't have everything. There's the switch. And if I do that... Okay, simple one or the other, as it says. And That's an odd mushroom. It almost seems infected with something. Hmm. Nothing here. Oh, and there's Tar. There's nothing here either. Okay, so just a little tutorial on the doors, I'm guessing, then. Oh, hello. Another one of those things. For now, I'm going to explore a bit further. There's that area underneath the entrance. And yeah, th this place is more three-dimensional than uh, the previous ones. Let's see. Fascinating, aren't they? What do you think constructed these ancient ruins? And for what purpose? I'd visit this place and ponder that question often. Only one thing is for certain, these folks liked slimes. Eventually, I came to realize what this place was for and how to utilize it. Will you do the same? Okay, that's rather ominous sounding. Hmm. Let's see. And what... Oh. You? Okay, that opens that. I see you there. And oh, did that's the entrance? Okay, wait, that means we okay, that's wait, we didn't come out here. Hmm. All right, then. And I can hear more tar beast and creatures. Oh, green echo. Okay. We don't have room for one though. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can get to that uh, teleporter at the end of this place. Oh, that's a little star. 
Yeah, yeah. Two splashes of water kills them, it seems. Good, good to keep some water around at all times. Now, we already got an, a tank upgrade again. So, I don't think we'll get one real fast again. That's the Slime C. Hmm. There is an entrance to that area somewhere. Wait, what is that? It's a Gordo. Hmm. Okay, we need to get to the other side of that one to clear that opening up. Better let that recharge first. Okay. And there's nothing here. Oh, there's a path. Is there anything hidden here? Nothing over there. Except for another one of those things. I'm going to be annoyed if these echoes are only just for decoration. Now, you'd think ancient ruins and they have a, a special thing that only shows up there. You'd think that'd be involved in some sort of puzzle. What do you do? Up or down? Let's see down. Not down there. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to spend quite a bit of time probably to explore this place thoroughly. Now though we are at its end. Same place, and a lot of these things here. Hmm. Let's see, is there. There's two Gordos here because there's two keys, and there's something behind here. Hmm. That's the teleporter. Hmm. And yeah, another key needed. Okay. Can we interact with this? Does it show up now? No, it doesn't. We just have to keep track of the where the doors are ourselves. Okay. And one way trip again. Okay, let me just hang these up here. If we do need these things for some sort of puzzle... If we do need those things for some sort of puzzle, we have them right here. In the meantime, though, what to do with these guys? We... <laughs> That's a bunch of... <laughs> I expected ports, but not this many. Come on, Granny, back in the pa in the back in the pool. Okay. Lord, Lord Arturzi. Hmm. There's still three spe four species that were missing, and I have no idea. Hear what those may be. Oh, well, one, one of these is... No, that's the quantum one. Yeah. Yeah, one, two, three, four. That, that se really seems to be some sort of fire one. 
Okay, we, we still have some time. We, we have about 10 minutes still until it's uh, 10. At which point we would have been streaming for about two hours total. Hmm. Ah, yes. Tabbies and pinks. For the moment, I think I'm going to drop these guys off here. Though they don't have any fruits to eat. Actually... Can we make... Can we make water logos? Oh, now they... Are they shy because I have these things in my uh, vacuum? Hmm. I'm getting a bit of an idea. Because the tabby plorts are rather cheap. So what if we replace all of these guys with uh, quantum honey slime? And yeah, we, we can make uh, tabbies with something else. Uh, they, they aren't dying by going into the slime. See, they are just uh, returning to their primordial ghoul. No. I, I think that's actually in the Slimepedia here. Let's see, worlds. Uh, da, 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 the Slime Sea. The Slime Sea that covers most of the far, far range is something of a mystery. It's a seemingly, a seemingly a mixture of water and slime that is believed to be the primordial pool whence all slimes emerged. Though its true purpose is entirely unknown by even the most esteemed slime scientists. What is known is that the liquid found within the Slime Sea is not fit for drinking, watering crops or even swimming as most things seem to quickly sink to the bottom. When a slime enters the slime sea, it quickly vanishes, but it is widely believed that this far uh, from ends the slime's existence, for slimes that enter the sea can often be seen quickly reappearing back on land, happy as ever. In fact, many slime scientists believe that slimes use the sea as a means of transportation, moving swiftly between the surface and popping out on land wherever they say fit. But all theories aside, one fact remains very clear. Most especially tarantulas don't enter the slime sea. Okay, we're going to need to clear this place up good of all tabby spare ports. Yeah, we can we can lock up one somewhere. Okay, let's. Boing. And the rest of you, I can. Actually, no, I just can't launch you over the edge there. <laughs> just waiting underneath here. Oh. <laughs> Return to sender. Okay, come here, you. And. Okay, that is a hell of a lot of ports. Come on. That's a lot. Yeah, if these were all radioactive plorts or quantum plorts, we'd probably bring in quite a little fortune. For Inky, uh, high walls, and an air net. Come on here. There you go. As many mangoes as you want. Yeah, it seems pretty happy to me in there. 
Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more. Or well, a lot more visits to this place to clear it out. Though for now, I guess we can just put up another here. High walls. Actually, this probably won't keep them in. Since they can teleport and all that. Hmm. Okay, a bit of a waste, but oh well. Five more minutes. And yeah, with that we can just probably run back and forth with these. And we may be able to get enough money to get the lab. Oh, hello, what are you doing here? So that captured them all again. Apparently not. Now we'll have to check if uh, honey slimes can become plor uh, become uh, largos. Oh, wait, I didn't. I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground, just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They sure seem to like hanging out around these, those things. Okay, that might be a bit of a hint. That uh, they'll sp Okay. You are inky too. Okay, is that all of the tabby ports? It looks like it, except for the ones in there, of course. Hmm. Okay, it might be a bit of a risk if they teleport into there. But we'll just have to see with that. And immediately they're running for something. Actually, these guys eat... Yeah, the fruits. This is fruits. And... Oh, I, I, apparently I missed one. Bye-bye. No tabby plorts. Come on. If there's even one, they can end up becoming tar. you out and start the harvest okay. yeah, they yeah they want the ports here so let's just get rid of them before we get a tar infestation. Actually, yep. There we go. Okay, all of them are long ago. And this one's about to jump, I think. It, it, that was this one. Okay. Okay, so the key to keeping them in a corral is probably to... Uh, yeah, if you see a ghost like this, to just splash all of them in the corral to keep them in. These should get just a decent price. If I remember correctly, then the honey slimes prefer mint mango. Yeah, so this will keep giving us doubles. Any last? 
from there. And that's you, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's hand those in. And then we can about call it. And there we go, enough. Actually, we might as well... Dip, dip. The hell was that noise? Oh. I think that was the noise of failing this. Uh, let's leave that empty then. And let's go look over here. Yeah. Slime Science. You've unlocked the lab, a special rent expansion that will allow you to create gadgets using Slime Science. Ga okay, gadgets. That sounds nice. Yeah. And four more corrals. Time to get crafted. This bone has all uh, the equipment you'll need to begin crafting gadgets using Slime Science. Gadgets include useful utility utilities to aid in exploring defensive turrets, decorations and more. Should I be worried about defensive turrets? Let's see. Allows you to siphon underground uh, resources, lasts one cycle. So one day, probably. Allows you to collect resources from wild bees. A set of two pink teleport teleporters that can create your own travel link. Okay. A helper bot that can be programmed to buzz around your ranch and perform a variety of tasks. Hmm. Med station. Rapidly drains your energy to restore health. Hydro turret. Defensive cannon that will automatically blast tar, the target tar and blast them with water. The slime ball hoop. Begin a round of slime ball as soon as a single slime passes through the hoop. What's your high score? Number one slime states allows you to let other slimes know who is unequivocally the number one slime. Pink slime lamp, a decorative lamp housing a happy slime. Novo Gordo snare, a special snare that captures a Gordo slime baited with food and weight. Novice. Hmm. Yeah, the Gordos can be moved, so let's actually... We don't have enough money, so we're taking a look at that. The refinery. In order to fabricate gadgets, you need resources in your refinery. Try shooting a port into the refinery, but remember, any resources deposited in the refinery cannot be removed. Uh, could be. And it looks like over here. Yeah, I think this is where we get the blueprints. And then here we make them. Oh, that's the refinery. Hmm? Yep. Yeah, locked. Maybe here we can finally get something to unlock them. Yeah, this is the refinery. This is... Yeah, this is where we deposit plots. And that's all... Okay, they want more than just plots? I'm guess. What might all of this be? Yeah, I, I think... Even if we get to the end of the ru ruins, that we still won't have found everything of this game. Hmm. Let's see, I built this lab after meeting a slime scientist and learning about the wonders of plot technology. I figured it would be fun to think or, or with on rainy days. I only nearly blew myself up three times, which is pretty good given my tendency for that sort of thing in my other hobbies. But it soon became a reminder that I have a thirst for adventure, and being cooped up in my barn all day wasn't ever going to satisfy that thirst. Soon I began to set my sights for horizons beyond this ranch. 
Once I got the thinking on it, further still. Could that, could that be linked to what those ruins were for? That's perhaps somehow it's a big ass teleporter. Hmm. Okay, let's have a little look here. This should lead back to the cave. Then we'll just grab up some plorts there and throw them in. And you are done because there's food over there. Okay. No need for those. Not actually many plorts at the moment. And again, they only seem to be starting to eat now. Take care for the radiation. As, as risky as it can be, there is just something fun about free-range slime enhancing like this, huh? It's, it's more interesting than uh, having them stuck in a coop and having to uh, you know, just get it in and out. Yeah. There we go. I could probably... Oh, and star mail. Okay. You go over there. I think I might actually be able to set up a corral here and here without these guys interfering with it. But for now, let's put in these plorts, uh, see what Casey has to say, and then we'll call it. Uh, a bit longer than expected, but we didn't. I didn't expect to be able to get... Well, I didn't, I didn't expect this. Rock and pink uh, rock plorts for this drill. No, the builder shop. The builder shop allows you to purchase blueprints. Yeah, like I thought. A blueprint is required to build any gadget. Be sure to check the builder shop often for new blueprints. Oh, okay, we can get even more. So these, I. Yeah. We can use the we can use the 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 plots here, we have five of them, for pink, uh, for all of the for the rock slimes that we don't have yet. And yeah, the fabricator. Once you have a blueprint, the fabricator allows you to craft gadgets using resources stored in the refinery. Okay. You are making that noise. Gadget mode. In order to place gadgets, you need to enable gadget modes. Okay. Yeah, there is more to this game than even we thought so far. In gadget mode, you cannot whack or shoot, but you can see all the build sites in the world that you can place your gadgets. Have a look around. Yeah, we're going to keep this up for a bit. Yeah, we can put them down here as well. And technically, this has been under our nose the entire time. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not amused at all. But, yeah, we've discovered enough for now. Let's have a little look here. New Year's Eve. Hi, Bia. Do you remember New Year's Eve when we were looking for that party? Whilst, uh, while we were wandering around the city, lost, I got my bearings and didn't tell you because I knew we were close to that coffee shop run by that tyrant. <laughs> and since it was starting to rain, I thought it would be really romantic to stumble across the place again. I guess I finally found the courage. So, yeah, I guess that... Yeah, I guess that confirms that they... If, 
even if they are not good friends outright, uh, at the very least that Casey was interested. But the coffee shop went out of business, uh, business and it was a taco place now. So we ate tacos in the rain and it was just the best thing. <laughs> we were on the roof of your old apartment hoping to see the fireworks. I was going to tell you something then, but that's when you told me about Africa. It sounded like an amazing trip. I was really happy you were doing what you love to do. Okay, so it, it sounds like she wanted to confess her feelings, but didn't after all. Hmm. Uh, I guess this is. I guess these emails might be her finally confessing after the fact. Uh, now that uh, they are who knows how many miles away. And we'll have to see. Wink, <laughs> you little bandits. And we'll have to see. I, I certainly wouldn't mind co-op in a, a Slime Rancher 2. And if it does have that, uh, we can play it together. Yeah, that, uh, and uh, provided I won't be launching Logos at you all day long. Yeah. Okay. The elders are still good. Technically, we don't even need these here. Okay. But for now, though... Yeah, th this has been a bit of extra slime rancher because Singularity ended up being short. But... Yeah. Yeah, way shorter than expected. But still fun in all, I'd say. So, yeah, like I said at the end of Singularity, uh, Saturday we will be continuing with this game anyways, even though we just did an hour of this, or an hour and about 10 minutes now, or 15. And Sunday, the usual... And then next week, we'll be starting with a new series of streams. And uh, <clears throat> on Rakia's request, both of the series that will be intermingling uh, will be a, a bit spoopy to fit in with the Halloween stuff, which will probably far surpass with the, the length of these games, the length that these games may go for. But for now, Thank you for watching, and thank you especially, Drakir. And, yeah, until next time, but until then, until then.